Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, so if you followed me at all for any length of time, you know that there's a new joiner in the shop. This would be the Hammer A341A. And it's been in my shop long enough now. I think I can kind of give it an honest review and tell you what I like and, and what I don't like uh, and be honest about that review. Now, if you watch that dresser build at all, uh, you'll know I kind of struggled with some of those longer pieces on there. And that, that dresser was, was almost eight feet long. So there were some huge pieces on there. So I reached out to Hammer or Felder to get uh, the extension wings. And, you know, bless their hearts, they gave me a really nice deal on the extension wings uh, in exchange for my review. So just full transparency there. Um, the bed length on just the joiner itself is at 71 inches. To add the two extension wings, uh, it takes it to like 66 and a quarter on in feed and out feed. So the total length is 134 inches. To put that all in perspective, that's almost 11 feet long uh, here in my shop. Um, and I think I can leave them on all the time if I so choose, uh, especially the outfeed side. I don't see that being in my way at all. But should I need to take them off, it's just a quick release right underneath here and off it comes in and stores out of the way. They're not that expensive. Uh, in you know all, all things relative uh, they are super quick to install I think I had both sides on in probably around 10 minutes and I had to add this back rail uh, on the outfeed side and I still don't really think it took me more than probably 10 minutes uh, electrical on this machine is 220 and when I had the shop built I added 220 to the floor down here the original joiner was a six inch Powermatic and I knew that that wouldn't be long for the world. Uh, so I had the 220 put in the floor when I built the shop. Um, so why hammer? Um, obviously, like everybody else, I did my homework. Uh, they have Felder Group, is, it just has a phenomenal reputation. Um, but I think that they also have a reputation of being more expensive, right? So. Um, I originally I was looking at a Powermatic 12 inch uh, thinking that that would be more than sufficient for my needs um, and I reached out to Hammer to, to get a price quote and you know to, to do my homework and lo and behold I could get in this Hammer 16 inch joiner significantly cheaper than I could get into a 12 inch Powermatic um, so that got me doing more of my homework and whatnot um, and absolutely no regrets. Uh, I, I wish I would have looked into them long ago. Phenomenal company, great customer service. Uh, emails and phone calls do not go unanswered. I'm super, super happy with them. And not just because they cut me a good deal on you know, the extension wings. Okay, so some questionable things or, or things I get questions about uh, with the machine in my email is one is the fence. On the outfeed side, there is a little bit of deflection. There's not a lot of support out here on the outfeed side. Uh, from just after the blade all the way to the front is well supported. And that little deflection out here in the end has not caused me any issues at all. So I don't consider that a negative. Uh, it's just in the design. And something that people notice is that little bit of deflection out there certainly not an issue. The other question I get is on the cast iron surface as well. It looks rougher uh, than you know normal cast iron uh, US machines look and I, I'll be honest I had the same question um, but a coat of wax on it just like any other my other cast iron surfaces and it functions flawlessly just like all my other cast iron surfaces. The one thing I will say that is taking the most time to get used to is the Euro blade guard. Um, this fence slides forward so you can get, you know, you can just use the front half. Um, but when you do that, um, this guard slides out of the way and you're still having to walk around it. So uh, if this machine came with the pork chop style 
uh, blade guard, I'll be honest, I, it, to me it would be a perfect machine at that point. Um, but the fence always stays true and square, um, and I'm getting used to the Euro guard. So that's not a, a showstopper or the end of the earth to me. Um, I do wish I would have done the extension wings on my original order and had them in place up front. I've had a couple of long projects. I think I've done, uh, I think I did the king size bed on this. I know I did the dresser on this. And there may have been a couple of other longer projects where these wings, I, I sure wish I would have done that a long time ago. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap it up. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, my email is in the show notes. Uh, I have a forum site out there. My website is out there. Uh, all, that, all that stuff is out there. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I will try to answer, answer questions as they come in. So until next time, guys, take care.